Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm going to use my Wonderland tarot cards. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate the support to the channel. We have the Ten of Wands. I think he's so cute. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Three of Swords. That's a conflict. What do you need to focus on? Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Energies coming in. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Oh, look at that. And the Fool. And bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Getting back to your happy place. I feel like that's what it is, getting back to having fun in your happy place, right? And have an ice cream sundae. When was the last time you had a, a nice ice cream sundae? Or you had that treat that, that you love to have, right? Whatever that may be, if it's ice cream sundae or not. But really, it's just like that feeling of hanging out with friends and just having a good time and enjoying something that makes you happy I feel I feel like that's kind of your energy right the look on her face there that it's not looking so happy and especially with it being next to this three of swords I feel like either recently somebody kind of somebody did this three of swords for you or somebody has this energy around you that um, you were hurt by something like you lo you lost that that's like how she's so excited just to go down that hole like she doesn't know what's going to happen she's just jumping down the hole just doesn't know what that's what's at the other end but she knows that she wants to take that chance and she's you know may possibly be be foolish but taking that chance, I feel like there's a spark within you that's kind of been hampered by this. And to get those emotions flowing again, when I saw this Ace of Cups and then I saw that waterfall, my mind was immediately drawn to that as to get things flowing. I feel things are kind of stopped for you. They're kind of backed up. They're kind of, kind of murky. Right, it's just like a like a little puddle, and to get those things back on track. Easier said than done, though, right? All right, let's grab Queen of Wands and Three of Swords. I feel like with this little guy here, this Ten of Wands, that maybe it's you've been working a lot, you've been had a lot of weight on your shoulders, that you've had a lot of things that you've had to deal with, that you haven't had that time for that self-care, you haven't had time to pamper yourself, you haven't had time to have fun, that you feel like you're on that hamster reel, that you feel like you just want to give up, that you want to give in, that you're feeling overwhelmed, um, you're feeling like just trying to get through each day or each situation. Like everything's become a burden. Like there is no, it's like surrounded with all of these, these clouds here, like this heavy energy there. And it's almost like even the look on the high priestess face, I just noticed where it kind of looks like she has a frown, like she looks sad. For some reason, that's what I picked up. So all of those emotions and even him, like he has a frown on his face and his eyes are bugging out. He's like, wow, I've got, how can I do this? Right. Trying to keep going. So what do you need to focus on? Okay. Love it. Focus on 
what does the three spilled cups represent? Right? Not focusing on your negative column, but focusing on your positive column. Focusing on those relationships or those things that you love to do, those things that make you happy. Kind of when I saw this, I feel like it's spending time by yourself doing what you, do you like to paint? Do you like to knit? Do you like to sew? Do you like to, what do you, what do you like to do puzzles? Do you like to read? What is those things that you like to do? Do you like to craft? Um, do you like to work on the yard? Do you like to have a garden? Do you like to have the flowers? What is it that you like to do? I feel like you've kind of gotten away from that and that's what you need to focus on is doing that self-care and doing those things that make you happy or surrounding yourself with those people that make you happy. Maybe you have a really good friend that you have so much fun with and you haven't had that time to spend with that person. And maybe it's time to make that evening and set up that time where the two of you can hang out, whether it's going out to eat or it's doing, um, like my girlfriend and I, we're going to be making pasta together. We're going to go to a place and we're going to make, learn how to make pasta. <laughs> so that should be interesting. So it's not only that you're, you know, like you're, you're spending time with that person and you're kind of blocking out all of this energy and you're kind of, um, doing something that you enjoy so i feel that's with the sun with the two of cups and the sun card it's like that's what you need to focus on right to get those emotions flowing again and see maybe it's been a while since you've really had fun or you've done things that you enjoy and you're like well what does that even feel like i haven't even had that opportunity to feel that way. right maybe you and your partner you go and you get massage massage massages <clears throat> maybe you and your friend go and you go get manicures or pedicures what are those things that you can think of that you can go do you know or if it's by yourself go getting a mani-pedi or you go out to eat and you treat yourself you order in and you play your favorite movie that always makes you laugh and you order in doing that self-care is incredibly important that's why I was saying all of those fun things, right? Getting back to fun. Not looking at all of these things that you have on your plate that you have to do or that have been bothering you, that are overwhelming you, but to look at those things, what can make me happy, right? Especially with the Two of Cups here and the Two of Cups here. We have the King of Wands, getting back into your power. We have communication with the Fool, being taking chances, feeling silly. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, we have the Ace of, the Ace of Wands and working on it. This is something that takes work. If you're always finding yourself being in this, this energy here, in order to switch to be in this energy here, this takes work. It's a new way of programming yourself, right? It's a new way of of programming yourself. If you're always going to the negative, if you're always going to the negative, reprogramming yourself to look at the positive and go to the positive and turn things around and knowing okay well I'm really feeling negative so I've got to go do some self-care and I've got to do something that's going to or I got to hang around my friend or I got to have a conversation with my friend right the hierophant can represent somebody that you trust and that you can you you have faith in what it is that they say and that they'll tell you the way things are and you have that faith and that trust in that person that you can say whatever you want to say without being judged. And sometimes we just have to, sometimes it's like you don't even want that person to give you a solution, but you just want that person to listen to you. Like, I just need you to hear me. I just need, and listening to yourself talking about all of this heavy energy here helps you to realize what's going on and to release and to let that go. I definitely feel like this is good energy that's coming. Like you're feeling renewed, you're feeling excited, you're feeling you're feeling better, but I also feel like it's it's realizing okay, when I get to these points when I have to do this self-care for myself. All right, let's grab a Star Dragons.
We have independence, carving your own path. Carving your own path. Maybe there's that frustration that you're trying, you, you're not carving your own path. Maybe you, it's being affected by somebody else or it's somebody else's path. And carving your own path for you. When you do things on your own and you do things for you, it brings this bigger sense of when you when you feel like you're able to be yourself it just it's this freeing it's just like okay take me or leave me right take me for the way that i am or or don't i need to surround myself with people that take me for the way that i am and to not surround myself that make me feel heavy or make me feel like i'm not good enough and that's a hard thing to do, but it's like carving your own path. Like you're on your own path. You're on your own journey. It's your lifetime, right? And to carve that path out and to not make excuses for it. That if somebody else questions it, it's like, well, this is the way that I'm going. This is what I'm doing, right? And to not make excuses for it. You have to have that faith and belief in yourself that you're carving your own path. And if you don't have that faith and belief in yourself, then it's not going to work. All right, let's get a energy oracle. We have a woman holding a coin, opportunities that may come in for you. And then let's grab this one, indecision. That's what I feel like. You have this indecision and you're not sure which path you want to go on. And priceless information with that woman holding a coin. Priceless information, priceless mending. Is there something that needs to be mended? I feel like it's your heart that needs to be mended, especially with that there. And then we have message in a bottle, a message coming through for you, right? That there's a message that is trying to get through to you. And are you willing to be open to receiving the message and getting the message? Sometimes we hear it, but we don't comprehend it, especially with this reading, right? Sometimes we're just kind of dully listening to it or it's on in the background or something like that. But to really listen to the message and have that independence and in carving your own path and doing that self-care. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.